Scott, can you just tell us what's going on tonight? Um, yeah, we're uh, getting ready to get on the freeway here and we're going to be transporting the third of four steam generators uh, to Utah. So uh, keep going. Yeah, just keep going. So uh, what, what it is is that we're going to be, we got about three weeks from now, we're going to end up in Utah. So um, we're, we're taking these retired steam generators. Um, we've already done two. This is the third one. We'll hopefully do the fourth one by the end of the year. Um, so we're going to be going about 25 miles an hour is the max speed. We've, with the steam generators are on a specialized equipment, on specialized transport built specifically for the steam generator. Um, and then we're going to, like I said, tonight we're going to get on the road and then we'll end up in Utah in about three weeks. You said this was the, the third process in, in, tell us a, a little about that process going on. All right, so uh, about two years ago, we replaced the steam generators in, in the plant. And so these were the tired ones. And so we, we, we had to get these, uh, scrub them, get them, you know, get them ready to go on the freeway. Um, so that way uh, we could meet DOT requirements. They have a certain requirement as far as how much radioactivity is on a transport. And this, this meets the DOT requirements. It's actually less than half of what the DOT requires uh, for radioactivity on the road. So um, again, we, we hired a company, Perkins, to build this transport. They built the transport for us. Um, last July, we put the first one on the road, made it safely to, to Utah. And then we put the second one in, in September, and now we're on the third one. Um, the reason we're going to Utah, it's uh, the only licensed facility for radioactive equipment. So we're going to take them to, to this licensed facility um, to dispose of them. And just real quick, these are coming out of uh, San Onofre plant, right? They already been out of San Onofre plant. So okay. again, uh, 2009 and 2010, we replaced the steam generators. So these are the retired steam generators. Okay. And uh, tell us about the, the the travel time. I mean, obviously, or, or the, and the transport. They said this is about a football field long. Yeah, it's a, the transport. Again, it's a specialized equipment. It's 400 feet long with the rigs and the semis, and there are about five semis with it two sometimes pulling, three pushing, or any combination of pushing and pulling depending on the grade of the road. Um, and uh, it's 16, like a little more than 16 feet high and about a, a width of a, of a one lane road, a little more than a width of one lane, lane road wide. Um, again, at top speed of 25 miles an hour. So as you can imagine, it goes pretty slow. Um, we're only traveling at night in California to be as least impactful to the public as possible. Even though we know it's still going to impact some, we're just trying to do it as least amount as possible. Once it gets into Nevada, we're going to start traveling during the day. Okay. And uh, if there's any more questions, who can we contact? Um, Southern California Edison, the media relations line is 626-302-2255. Again, my name is Scott Andreessen, A-N-D-R-E-S-E-N, and I'm the spokesperson for Southern California Edison. I appreciate it. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. Perfect.